So we're here today in the DCR cave studio and uh, I'm about to do my Zwift session for the evening because it's a little rainy outside. I'm on a Cannondale System 6 lent to us by Core Mantle, so thanks to Core Mantle for this. But what I need to do before I can get this bike on the kicker and kicker climb is convert both of these over to through axle support. So what I'll run through right now is the conversion of the Kicker 18, which is currently set up for quick release, and the Kicker Climb, which is set up to quick release, over to through axle support and to show you how easy this is so I can get about doing my Zwift session. The Kicker 18 itself just requires these two parts. Well, actually it's three. That ships as one. So watch for that. If you're looking for the parts in the box, that comes off there. That goes on one side, that goes on the other. And there's the disc brake spacer so those hydraulic discs don't clamp together so that's all we need up the back up the front it's even easier again it's just simply taking out the axle adapters that come in the box with the climb putting them in place and also using the disc brake spacer we'll convert the kicker 18 first of all over to through axle so a quick release comes out with the two parts either side there put those aside this comes in with a cap over there the other side comes in with the either 142 or 148, depending on which way you go. We're going 142 today. In, that's that. Pretty much done. And the climb itself, pretty much the same. So the, everything comes out of there, off to the side. The adapters go in. There we are, that's converted. As always, down in the lowest gear in the back. And the kicker itself is what I call a native through axle support. So you take the rear axle out of the bike itself, that's the axle that you use through the trainer. So that comes off, we'll get the wheel off the bike. And because we know which gear we're in, it's around about close enough. Sitting on there and using the through axle from your wheel, straight through, making sure things are nice and tidy. And the final thing we have to remember is to put the brake pad adapter in so it doesn't squeeze things together. So we just slip that up inside here. Like so. That's not going anywhere. Same process for the front. Axle comes out. Wheel off into the side. Lining that up to where it needs to go. And lastly, the brake pad spacer here. Done. So there we have it, a conversion of a quick release kicker 18 and a quick release kicker climb setup into full through axle support for the System 6. It's time to ride. We'll see you out there. Thanks for watching.